One meal a day, the Fit Club version. What's up everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, specializing in the 28 day belly burn challenge. Today I wanna to talk to you about the one meal a day Fit Club version that we've been using in our belly burn 28 day shred down challenge. And I love it because there's less prep time, less eating time, and it gives you more time for digestion between meals. The drawbacks are, generally you eat less, you have more fasting hours, and then you're probably gonna be peeing a lot more because of the fluids. So how does this look? Okay, in a perfect day, you'd always wanna start your first meal at 11 a.m., okay? The 11 a.m. is gonna be the greens, so I'll post a photo of the greens onto the screen here. This is the one that I absolutely love. It's naturally sweetened, it's got a ton of superfood in it, and honestly, it takes away the nasty taste of just having raw spinach in there. In fact, I've even put a cup of broccoli in there and it still tastes good. So you're gonna do one scoop of the greens, you're gonna do a little bit of ice in your blender, you're gonna put some water in there, you're gonna put a handful of spinach, okay? I don't track my spinach, I don't track my broccoli because the calories are basically negated, but there is fiber in there, so if you're tracking your fiber, it's good to have it in there. And then I actually do five grams of collagen. As you know, a lot of research is coming out that collagen is great for your skin. For me, it's all about the joints, the tendons, the cartilage, the ligaments. So you can put five grams in there so that it's kind of hidden within the greens taste and it's hidden within the spinach. And then what I would do is have a protein shake along with this blended greens. So right away, you're gonna have one cup of water because that's gonna be blended in with your greens. And then you're gonna have another cup of water because you're gonna have that protein shake. So both are very, low when it comes to spiking your insulin. So that food that you're just consuming isn't gonna get stored as body fat. Your body's gonna slowly release it and there's nothing but good into those two different types of shakes. So that's 11 a.m. You can have water, you can have coffee, tea, in between, before or after, doesn't matter. Fluids, I don't count as calories, even if they're zero calorie, like a Diet Coke or something like that, or you're gonna have EAAs or whatever it is and there's sweeteners in there, we're not gonna count that, okay? Your second meal is gonna be a double protein shake. And what we're trying to do is have protein as your main macro. Why? Because protein doesn't digest the same as a carb or a fat and your body is less likely to store, even if you went over in calories of protein, it's less likely to store the protein as fat, but we wanna make sure that we're getting something in us so that we have energy to function and mentally have energy for our brain so that we could function throughout the day, but the protein is slow digesting and it's good to help you build muscle. So that's 1 p.m. Then your one big meal of the day is gonna be the rest of your calories. Now. If you're in a belly burn challenge, your coach is gonna give you your calories that you, know, you should be eating. But if you watched one of my previous videos about how the perfect diet should be for a woman, then what I would suggest is to keep your calories, so the one meal a day, in and around six to 800 calories. Now you have the other ones, which works out to be about 12 to 1400 calories. And to be honest with you, most people that I work with in the belly burn challenge, Monday through Friday, that's more than enough to keep them alive, to keep them happy, to prevent them from feeling like they're starving. And so that one meal could be anything that you want. My recommendation is that you try and keep it clean, but if you have to go out or whatever's happening, then just have that one meal and that's gonna be your one big meal of the day. So that one big meal could be anything that you choose, but you're always gonna start your day off 11 a.m. with the greens shake along with a protein shake 1 p.m. you're gonna do the double protein shake and then you're gonna actually eat food at dinner time so you can have, and you don't need to change meals that your family is eating, you can have whatever they're having, you know, have a portion that doesn't make you feel absolutely disgusted, but it's enough that keeps you fed, keeps you involved with your family, and you're still eating actual food. So this is one of the main methods that I use in my belly burn challenge that have gotten hundreds of women crazy good results. So if you're looking to be the next to get crazy good results without ever feeling like you're on a diet, ever feeling like you're starving or hating any part of the process, then what you need to do is go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn.